Hi everyone, it's Marie here and welcome to Pear Tree HQ. Uh, so today in the Pear Tree Cook Files Facebook group, uh, you'll be seeing lots of posts popping up, showing you lots of different uh, craft spaces from our design team. So each of our design team is either going to show you some pictures or a video, it's entirely up to them how they're going to do it. Um, I've decided to do a video of my space here because there's quite a bit I want to show you. I have done a craft room tour before. Um, and there's a few things that I've changed since I did that craft room tour. I think that was a couple of years ago now um, when I first moved into this space. Um, but this is my new and improved setup. Uh, and I've actually got both ends of the room now. So this end of the room is where I do my own crafting, my own bits and pieces, where I record my videos, where all my crafty supplies are. And then the other end of the room is kind of like the pear tree end, where we've got um, the all the boxes and all the paper and everything so I'm going to show you both ends of the room uh, so you can have a real good old nosy round at Pear Tree um, and see what it's like where I work and the same for all the rest of the DT uh, so just watch out in the Facebook group today for all of their different posts going up they're going to show you their spaces or they're going to show you different um, ways that they organize their craft spaces so they might not show you the whole thing but they're going to show you parts of it today so it should be really fun for you to have a good old nosy round and have a look at everybody else's craft space. Hopefully pick up some tips on how you can maybe arrange bits of your areas if you're struggling with a particular thing. Um, or just, you know, have a good old nosy. We all have a good nosy round with the people's craft spaces. So um, some of us have huge craft spaces. Some of us have tiny craft spaces. And I think... I love that different range. I love seeing how people use a big space. I mean, I'm sure we'd all love a massive space. Um, we haven't all got room for it. I've got my space is actually really it's it's within a large room, but it's actually quite small itself. Um, and I know some of my DT have got huge rooms all to themselves that they just craft in. So it'd be lovely to see all everyone's different uh, ways in which they work and ways in which they organise their craft supplies, and then yeah, pick up a few tips and see where you go from there. So uh, let's get into it at my space. We're going to flip the camera around so you can have a look. Um, and I can show you all the different areas here. So we're going to start down at the pear tree end of the room. So this is the new end of the room that we've just kind of done this this year. Uh, so this is brand new. So I've got space over here to store everything I need for pear tree. So I've got um, my MacBook over here that I use for doing all your labels and things on. Um, and my label printer as well for all the postage labels and things because there's quite a lot of those we end up doing each month. Um, and then we have some cupboards. Uh, they look really nice on the outside, but on the inside, they're not great because it's just, it's the stuff that I need to store for pear trees. So I've got all my boxes and my Royal Mail sacks and my Royal Mail labels in there. So that's a pretty boring one, really. Up on the top, I do have a light box. This thing is amazing. Um, the product photo for, uh, photographs that I managed to get out of it and the layout photographs I can get from inside it are absolutely brilliant. So I can either take photographs from up top through that little hole there, or I can take them from the front. Um, Velcro, oh, Velcro is up. I've got a layout hiding inside that's ready for photographing. Um, and I keep it all white inside, all the reflective silver, so that it all kind of lights from all different angles, and it just turns on with a little uh, switch down this side. I don't really want this out all the time. It's not something I want to see all the time, but unfortunately, I haven't figured out where else to put it yet. So if I can find somewhere else for it, it will be going somewhere else. I um, don't really want it in this space all the time. So then I've got some very large drawers in the middle, and these are great because these store absolutely everything that I need in. So I've got my tissue paper and my bags in one drawer. In the next drawer down, I've got all the different size plastic bags. We are looking into different options rather than using so much plastic at Pear Tree, but unfortunately everything um, that's non-plastic is very expensive. So I have all my little samples and things in here. Um, and I have order forms as well. So I have order forms for uh, Mr. Pear Tree to take into the garage to go and do your laser cutting. More bags. And then the bottom drawer is more bags as well. So I'm not gonna show you that one because it's really boring. Um, one of the best things I did at this time of the room was I actually had a bin fitted. So this is my bin, so it's just a pull out bin. So I put all um, my paper waste in there. So anything that doesn't get used um, from when I do the cut files, they all get, it all goes into recycling and gets recycled. Very environmentally conscious. And then the other cupboard, another really boring cupboard, unfortunately, lots and lots of paper <laughs> for cutting cut files out of. Lots and lots of tubs for organizing bits and pieces, tape, labels, all the boring stuff. It all needed a home. 
um, but having its own kind of little set of uh, cupboards like you can see here uh, means it kind of all gets packed away really nice and neatly. You can see a few of the prescription files that are on the, uh, the side just over there getting cut out for this month. And then I have a little bit of organisation over here as well. So I have my labels and my stickers on the top. I have my white card. I have the black card that I cut from. I use the American Crafts Precision White and Precision Black cardstock for cutting all cut files. And then I just have this. This is actually, this is from Amazon. This is a remote control holder. And it's actually a fabulous pen, pencil, scissors, craft knife, um, scrapey tool, um, tablespoon for measuring out <laughs> bits and pieces, everything in there. Uh, so that works really, really well. So that's at one end of the room. Now, if I swizzle you round, I'll give you a quick view of the garden as well. And probably the cat, and probably the cat. So there's my lovely garden. This is my lovely view that I have all day long, which is fabulous. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to work in this space. So that's our um, garden. And then if I swizzle all the way around, you will see that there's the other workspace. That's where I do my actual crafting. So bringing you down now to my actual crafty space, uh, we'll start by taking you to the wardrobe. This is just an Ikea wardrobe. Um, and I've got lots and lots of storage in here. I love the fact that it's really organised and really neat inside, but it's also kind of hiding away all of this. I wouldn't want this to be on show all of the time. So up on the top here, I've got a variety of different storage ideas. I've got the Western boxes. I label them all with the Dymo um, label maker, which I have just up here. One of these Dymo label makers. I like to label everything um, with what collection is inside. So I generally keep six by eight paper pads and ephemera in here. So I either keep them in these Western boxes or in these really useful drawers and they pull out really easily. They're all kind of rainbow colored the pack. Um, to get more storage in, what I've ended up doing, I don't know if you can see, but there's there's one lot of drawers in the middle and to get into either the either ones, the ones on either side, all I have to do is just kind of push um, the boxes across to one side and they just kind of slide backwards and forwards at the back and that works really well because I don't need all of it all the time, I don't need access to all of it all of the time. I keep my die cutter in here. I know I've got electronic cutting machines, but I still do like to cut things with dies. I like to cut photographs into circles. I find that really easy on a die cutter. Um, hexagons, tags. I don't do much, but I do, I like to have one. So I decided to get a cuttle bug. Now I know these have stopped being produced, um, but I loved the idea that it folded up because the little flaps um, come down and therefore it opens up to a full size um, die cutting machine but it stores away nice and neatly in the cupboard it wobbles when it's not open because when you open the two flaps it suctions itself to the table which i think is brilliant so more here uh more at the back over here some extra storage tubs just up here and then these boxes are fabulous and i found these um, recently these are just from amazon they are like um i think they're uh, jewellery storage and what I use them for is all my bits and pieces so I do keep one of everything that I create for a release um, and I found these boxes to be absolutely fabulous for storing everything in so they just click open they've got little dividers in I think that one stays there all the time these can be moved um, and then I just have a different pot of each different colour um, and they click together so I can easily see what I've got. I do need some more. I've now filled them up entirely. Uh, so I do need some more of those. Uh, but yeah, I love the way that that, because that's kind of my ephemera storage, if you like. And then below that, um, I've actually got a happy planner shelf. Um, I've started um, a memory planner this year. Um, have not managed to keep up with it yet, but I've got a, few, I've got a fair few pages done in it. I do just need to do um, a few more and get caught up. Then what I have is I have some 12 by 12 really useful boxes and I also have some of the Western 12 by 12 boxes. So I do a variety of things in here. Um, so in these ones here, I've got layouts to file. So I, have, I keep a box of layouts that need to be put, popped away. Um, I've got oversized cut files. So cut files that are 12 by 12 in size. I keep the rest of my cut files in a folder. I'll show you that in a second. I keep some white cardstock over here. Black cardstock, speciality cardstock, so the mixed media paper, um, things like uh, the Vicky Bootin pre-done mixed media background ones, they're all in there as well. A whole tub of stencils, 
there's a whole lot in there. And then on the top of the two stencils, I keep my masking tape. So you can reuse the masking tape. So I use this uh, blue tape to, to hold my stencils in place. And I just stick it back to the top of the box so that I can reuse that. Vellum, mylar tissue. Uh, we've got embossing gun down there, card and foil. I've got some ribbon. I don't use a lot of ribbon. And I have got some brads and buttons uh, right down at the bottom. I don't use them very often, but I'm not quite ready to part with them yet. <laughs> And the other side of the cupboard, what I have is a Western boxes with individual collections in that I want to keep that are kind of the more recent collections that I'm using at the moment. So I've got all my recent hip kits. I started subscribing in October 21. So I've got all of those in there. I've got some fern wood. I've got the Paige Evans Splendid and the Vicky Boots and Sweetbush in the same box because I'm kind of mushing those two collections together. Then I've got some simple stories. I've got some cocoa vanilla, one of my favourites. Um, I've got my Pink Fresh Studio Days of Splendour because again, that's one of my favourites. And then and right down here, I've got some 49th and Market as well. So just each one of those has one collection in it um, and I keep everything in there. So you've got the papers, the ephemera, everything. All goes in one. And then if I want to create with a, with a particular box, I just pull out that box and I've got everything there from that collection. I am a collection scrapper, as in I don't generally mix things together. So I do like to keep things separate. Um, further down, we've got alphabets, pattern papers, as in random pattern papers that don't belong to a collection. I have had a massive purge recently and gotten rid of a whole load of things, donated it to a charity. Um, but there are things that I still don't quite want to get rid of. A few papers that I want to keep because I think eventually they will come in. Uh, so I've just got one box. I used to have about 12 boxes down there. The blue box at the bottom is a very special box. That's Elliot's box. So sometimes Elliot likes to scrap with me. Uh, so he has his own box of supplies down there. Mm -hmm. um, and he's actually quite a good scrapbooker. So it's lovely to do some with him. Uh, up on the top of my cupboard, I do have a couple of gnomes or gonks. I like to call them gonks. Some people call them gnomes. It's up to you what you call them. And this is my workspace. I'm just going to step back a little bit so you can see everything. Obviously, my computer in the middle. You'll see I've got a light just here. This is an LED um, light that comes on via remote control, which is fabulous. And then my camera just above. I record on a Sony camera. And the arm that's attached to the wall does actually come off. Um, Mr. Pertree built me a bracket so that I can take it down if I want to, and it doesn't have to be there all the time. It actually ends up staying there pretty much all the time. Um, but that's where my cam where, where I have my camera for recording, straight down onto my desk, um, onto my glass mats. I do love this glass mat. I've kind of gone over with a tealy, bluey, greeny colour scheme, so it fits in quite nicely. Um, over in this corner then, I've got a lamp either side of my workspace. So I've got one just here. And one here as well and then I've got these uh, metal shelving units these are from Ikea I'm very sorry I can't remember the name of them I actually got them from Amazon um because the Ikea near us is over an hour away so um I actually got them from Amazon um so there's like they're kitchen cupboard ones I think they're made of metal they've got a lot nice pattern on them um and there's a larger one and a smaller one so I've just sort of stacked them up and then used them as extra storage so to go a little bit higher because I found my desk was getting absolutely covered in stuff. Um, so on the very top, I've got this lovely letter rack, which is made in like a rustic wood, which I keep all my LA Studio things in um, and the stamps that I like to use are just tucked in at the back. It's got a couple of drawers on, which I use for ephemera um, and die cut bits and pieces. Again, mostly LA Studio in there. Underneath, I've got a couple of those 4x4 albums because I want to do 54, no, 52 favourites. Um, I will get around to starting that eventually. I've got some uh, of these plant pots from Ikea, which are great for making pens in. I've got my Distress brushes in this one. Um, I do keep this out. This is my hole punch. This is my new one. I have a cropper dial, but I find this one for punching holes is absolutely brilliant. It's got a smaller um, reach on the handle. Um, and my hands are quite small, so I've, I struggle with my copper dial, but I find that really easy to use. It's all quite heavy, but easy to use. And then back there, if you can see that rainbow loveliness, are my brand new, alt new uh, blending brushes. These things are fabulous. They blend beautifully. And I got the small ones. I got 12 of the small ones. They're so soft and so easy to use. I'm sorry, it's going a bit blurry there. So soft and so easy to use. I absolutely adore them. So the alt new ones. 
they're my brand new brand blending brush and keeping those out and then to go along with the blending brushes we've got underneath here i've got tins the tim holtz storage tins um for the for distress box size i keep them all in there they're all labeled They've all got a sticker on the front saying which is which colour. There's three tins. They just slide in and out really easily. I do have to move these if I want to get into the last one, uh, but that's not too much of a bother. Um, and these are just another couple of the plant pots. These are in the larger size. I've got one here with paintbrushes in, including an absolutely massive paintbrush. Um, I misread the, um, the description on this one. It's huge. Um, and then I've got another toolbox here, including my... Uh, date stamp just just purchased this one i think i got that one from lottie loves paper um really like that i've never had one i've always wanted one um and i'm quite enjoying stamping the date on my layout it's quite fun um and then i've got my handy dandy little uh tote if you like with all of the things that i use on a regular basis so i've got foam tape runner double-sided tape scissors i use the um tim holtz ones uh, red line tape, we've got Nouveau glue, glossy accents. This is my ever so cute little tin um, with my sewing needle in that I keep handy. And then my little jar of water with a lid on. I'm a danger when it comes to anything involving water and knocking things over, hence why my water bottle also has a lid. My cup of tea also has a lid because um, I'm a nightmare. <laughs> uh, so I love this. This is fabulous for taking with as well. So I I was gonna just sort of keep it for crops and things, uh, but then decided actually, it just sat really nicely on the desk and I don't have to unpack it and repack it. It just sits there. I keep it there all the time and then I take it with me when I need to go. So that works really well. I've um, already shown you this central area. This little guy back here, this is fabulous. This is my bin. So I have a bin on the floor as well, but this is my desktop bin. It just has a clicky lid. Um, and I just put all of my plasticky waste in here. So anything that can't be recycled, like the backing pieces of tape off the, off the double-sided sticky tape, that goes in there. Um, and then I just empty that out into the main household bin. And then I have a bin on the floor that I do, that I keep for paper waste. Um, I do feel bad about wasting things, so I do like to make sure I recycle as much as I can. Um, so then I've got another one of these shelving units at this side. This one's got... My trimmers underneath, I've got the Caterpillar Crop, sorry, not even showing you what it was, the Caterpillar Crop, and I've also got the smaller Tim Holtz. That's great for when I'm chopping down photographs and things, I don't have to get my big one out, um, but they both stack really nicely in there together. I have my selfie, another lamp. I don't always want my LED light on, it's quite bright. Uh, sometimes I just want a softer light, which is why I've got these ones. And then up here, I've got another sorting uh, tray. These are um, like fridge sorting trays. Um, they come in different sections. So this one's got four sections in it. I think it's from a company called iDesign. Um, and I've got the rest of my bits and pieces in here that I need in order to finish my December daily for 2021. Um, I had promised myself it would be done by the end of January. That hasn't happened. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. I'll get there. Um, but I've got that there ready and organised up at the top there so that I can get to it when I want to. Um, I am going to finish it, I promise. In the corner, I've got lovely plants. I love having plants and, and living things, so that's my orchid. I've got my speaking behind because I quite often, um, I spend the days on my own. My husband and son both go to school, they spend the days here. So it's nice to have some music on. I do like to put it on quite loud as well, so that's a really good speaker. I have my sewing machine. So machine is now permanently plugged in. It wasn't permanently plugged in. And I was finding I wasn't using it because it was too much hassle to get it in and out of a cupboard. So I found it a space. The only thing I have to do is pull it away from the wall. I pull it over here, just onto this part of the desk. And then I have to plug the foot pedal in, but that's all I have to do. So that's dead easy. And then above there, I've just got three shelves, just with some fun and lovely things on. So I've got a pair. That one of my friends bought me it's a it's a needle felted pair i've got my owls i love owls i've got a calendar desktop calendar um i've actually got a skiing gnome in the corner another owl there another um gnome at the back and another one up here and uh, just various bits and pieces the owl that my son bought me for mother's day so lots of just bits and pieces i like to have just a few decorative 
pieces on there. I'll change them soon. Um, I do keep swapping and changing them around quite often. And then coming down here, so I've got like one, one desk that goes runs from the um, cupboard. It's a wider desk. And then I've got a narrower desk that runs from the wall over here, just in this corner, um, down to here, which is where my two um, crickets sit. Um, so I do have two crickets, so cricket, cricket makers, and they both sit on um, this tabletop. This is where I do the cutting of the cut files uh, for everybody. Um, and it works well because of the way that the door works. They're away from the window, so there's plenty of space behind them um, for the um, mats to come in and out. So that works really well. And then I have a spare table at the end. My spare table at the end at the moment is being used to organise a whole load of layouts that are in ready in production and just about ready to make. Um, so I've got some that I've got things ready for the next go-go retreat that I'm going on. I've got things ready for making layouts with the prescriptions. This green folder here is my folder of all the cut files I've cut out for myself that I want to use. Um, I've got loads of them, look at this. <laughs> absolutely crazy um lots and lots of cut files and i am slowly working my way through um getting those used and onto actual pages what i tend to do is when i've got an order in a pre-cut order in um and i'm cutting a cut file that i want for myself i'll just cut an extra one and then pop it in a plastic wallet store it in my folder and think i'll use that later i don't get to them very often as, as often as, as i would like but they are all there and ready, ready and waiting for me so so if I go to a friend's house or I go on a crop, I've got some cut files already cut and I could just choose a few to take with me. Or if I've got a Saturday that I want to scrap, just open my folder, choose a few that I want to use, find the collection that matches um, and it works really well. So let me take you back over to the desk now and I'll show you a little bit more of my storage. So um, I have got two sets of Alex drawers, one at either side. I have got a little hook under here, excuse the cables, but I've got a little hook under here for my heat tool. That works really well, just leave it kind of plugged in, hooked up, great stuff. So very quickly then, my top drawer is all my um, adhesives and my remote control for my light uh, that I can turn the light on with. Um, so glue gel, um, which is what the syringes are for, rubbers, just random bits and pieces that I need to keep to hand. The next drawer down is my sequins and bits and pieces drawer. So I have a little, um, this is a makeup bag um, that I use for my mini distress inks. That works really well. I then have uh, my swatches in here for my distress oxides that I keep up on the top of the desk over there. And then I have this wonderful storage. This is amazing. I absolutely love this. So this is I don't know how many is in each, actually. Is it 30? I think that's 30 in there. 30 little tubs, little bottles, in, a pl in an outer plastic um, that I've decanted all my sequins into. So it's just it just looks like rainbow yumminess. Look at that. So I've got all the different colours of sequins that I have. I like sequins a lot. I like to match them to the colour of the layout, so I have a lot of sequins. <laughs> um, some from Spiegel Mom Scraps, some from Lucy's Shop online but they all fit in my drawer can't back in now they all just fit in my drawer perfectly and i can see exactly what i've got i've got more little tubs here like the larger ones i showed you earlier uh, these are for all the confetti um, bits and pieces and they're exactly the same they just have a little clip closure and that makes it really easy to get to so i can wholeheartedly recommend these um, and i've got plenty of them i think i've got i've got one that's half empty and just lots of different i'm storing those up so i can just pull them out whenever i want for a layout the next drawer down then is um so i've got threads i've got um the larger um bits and pieces so i've got all the words and things like that and the camera strip um film strips and titles i have this super super sorting tray from Sizzix. this i tip my sequins into organize them all then you unscrew the end here uh, to tip them back into the bag or the tub which is fabulous love that um i've got um random bits of foam because i like i, I do try and use everything up um i've got some more bits and pieces of ephemera down there but random bits of foam uh, from foam pads that i like to use to add dimension to my layouts threads um like the 
sewing threads and then I've got the finer threads as well if you want to do like thread twiddles on your layout that's what I use for those next drawer down is a whole drawer of tools so I've got my glue gun I've got my sampling mat I've got my fuse um mat just things like that things that I, I want access to easy access to but I'm not necessarily going to use all of the time and then the bottom drawer is full of um ribbons and macrame thread and bacon's twine and things like that again things i don't use very often um but things i do want access to this is also where i store the packaging from ephemera and things um so that i can use it to do my mixed media on so i keep all of that in that bottom drawer so that's that one then popping over to the other side you can just see underneath my desk um, I have my mixed media trolley. This is where I kind of put the overflow of mixed media. I've got some spare stencil brushes. I've got some distress sprays. I don't have many of them. I do have lots of lovely um, ink pads from Pink Fresh. Um, I've got a lovely set of watercolours from Paul Rubens. These are fabulous. These are um, metallic in colour and they open out and they're all kind of shimmery. I don't know if you can see that. So I keep those um, just in the front of there, so they're easily accessible. And then down at the bottom, I've got some kitchen roll. I've got my Ecoline watercolour inks. They are amazing things if you've ever not if you've ever tried them before. Um, they come with little droppers on the top. They're absolutely brilliant. They give such vibrant colours um, when you're doing mixed media. So I keep those there. I've also got a large set of normal watercolours down there at the bottom. My bin just here, I have two bins actually, one stacked inside the other, um, so if I have anyone to come and scrap with me, I've got a spare bin to pass over. And then just in the corner over there is my tote for taking to crops, so I like to keep it there handy so I can get to it. Top drawer over here, pretty boring, we've got, um, I love these green tubs by the way, these are fabulous. I've got my piercing mat, I've got lots of bits of spare card. You know when you've you cut a cup file or you've you've trimmed some drowned something and you end up with that bit that's left over. So just the whites and blacks go into this drawer and then I can use them for backing photographs. We've got dimensional foam, dimensional pads, um, all things like that in there. It's not very exciting. In this one I've got my alcohol inks. Um some watercolour pens and the Vicky Bootin gel crayons. I've got some of the uh, Nouveau Shimmer powders for doing dis uh, for doing mixed media as well. I've also got these. These are fabulous. I love these. These this is Moda Scrap fluffy paste. It's texture paste. I um, mean, lots of different sort of pastel colours. They're absolutely beautiful. I've got a few Nouveau ones as well, and I've also got some Liquitex acrylic ink. Um, so I mainly use the gold, the black and the white for doing lots of splatters. Um, a few shimmers in there as well from various kits that I've had. Next drawer, drawer down is my Nouveau drawer. There's all my Nouveau drops. I do try to swatch everything out so I've got little swatches so I know what colour they're going to dry. Um, spare glues, gesso, texture paste, all things like that in there. I'll just move that out of the way. Next one down is my small selection of stamps um, and stamp cleaner and the pedal for my sewing machine. I don't have many stamps. Um, these are brilliant though. Have you ever seen these before? These are the old to new stamp conditioning erasers. They're fabulous. Um, I've had terrible trouble conditioning my um, acrylic, the, the clear stamps, um, to get them to work properly. And these things, you just rub them on the stamp and they work brilliantly. Wholeheartedly recommend those. Uh, so yeah just a few stamps i don't have many i just have a select few because i don't do a lot of stamping and then the bottom drawer is very similar the bottom drawer is um all of my punches and my dies and again i don't have many dies i tend to have i've got some circles i've got some tags i've got some leaves some hearts some stars just the basic that's one of my cut files that's two of my cut files actually that have been made into dies that's quite exciting um, that's a company called Funky Fossil Designs, and she she's uh, turned some of my um, cut file designs into dies, so they're fabulous. I've got those in there, um, and that's about it for those drawers. Um, I tend to have most of the things I need and use more frequently up on my desk because I find that much easier to get to. Getting down to the drawers is, is a bit tricky. And then I have one last set of drawers, <coughs> excuse me, which is my larger, the wider Alex drawers. I have my cup, I have a cup.
put my on the top that I can use, you know, with, with for use with a craft knife. And I also store my scoring board on the top of there as well. I just took them away. I know exactly where they are. My top drawer then is my cut mats, um, notebooks, and foam, extra foam uh, sheets for giving the dimension. I've also got a, a silicon messy mat hiding in there as well. And the next few drawers are all the same. They're all collections that I store in 12 by 12 grip seal bags. So one, I don't necessarily want to keep it in a box in the cupboard because it's maybe not a current collection, but it's certainly a collection I want to keep and I keep going back to. This is where the rest of my collections go to. And I do keep them by, by collection in a, in a grip seal bag. So for example, this one here is Vicky Bootin's Colour Study collection. So I tried to keep them um, a little bit organised. So we've got like summer and travel in that one and beachy things. This one is cocoa, vanilla and pink fresh just because they just need a drawer all of their own. <laughs> um, then we have Paid Evans and Vicky Boots in here. And then these ones I think are my boy ones. So anything boyish, anything childish that I can use for my scrapping photographs of Elliot. I've then got outdoors and autumn over here, rainbow and other over here and then the very bottom drawer is where i store christmas um and i think it's just christmas actually down here now yeah just christmas and i also store my upo paper down here so this is my large upo paper um it's not quite it's a3 it's not quite 12 by 12 but when you cut it down and then stick it to a piece of 12 by 12 it's perfect for using alcohol inks on and that is my space I hope you've enjoyed having a good old nosy around the uh, Pear Tree HQ today. So this is where I create. Um, I hope you maybe picked up a few little tips and things of, of organisation ideas that you might like to use. My space is not the prettiest of spaces and it's certainly not the largest of spaces, but it works really well for me. Um, and I really enjoy creating here because I get to enjoy um, looking out at that. And I especially love looking out at this because the view changes all year round. Um, and I, I literally get to watch the seasons change on the trees, which is amazing. So thanks ever so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to pop by the Facebook group and have a look at all the other uh, crafty room tours and crafty tips given by the rest of our DT during the day. So thanks for, thanks for being here and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.